All right, guys, more on reloading uh, 12 gauge brass cases without cowboy dies since you can't find them. <clears throat> Decapping is just as you expect a 1 16th inch punch, only I don't like to bang things, so I just have it on my uh, arbor press here and I'm just going to give it a little easy peasy, no, no whacking, no banging, just uh, presses right out. And these still have the uh, large pistol primers in them. Didn't bore them out. Um, I can't use the Lee because you got a big pin for a 209, and that's not going to go through the itty bitty prime, uh, flash hole here. Uh, so you can't deprime that way. So we're almost there. Uh, what about resizing? That's what you really need with the the cowboy dies, right? <clears throat> now this brass, despite being super ugly um, doesn't need to be resized but I'll show you how to do it so this little ring you can buy for six dollars it's readily available if you've got a load all you've already got one um, so I'm gonna use it in my arbor press so like I said six dollars um, <clears throat> press it on uh, you would just get it started now if it if it didn't go if even if it was midway or whatever all I would use is a 7 8 uh, plastic uh, pipe that I've cut. And I use this for cutting uh, shot shells, plastic hulls but this will fit over the top and fully support the uh, sizing ring so all I would do is use again my press bring it on down and press it down using this extra bit of length you could use any kind of pipe that has a three quarter inch uh, inner diameter to seat that ring all the way now to get it out if you've got a load all it will work so you can use this to just press and see how it presses and that will uh, dislodge the ring but if you don't have it Swing on over to here, and this particular one right here is big enough to catch the ring, but not big enough to catch the uh, the brass. Now with two hands, this would be easy. And all I would do is come down very gently, because you don't want to mash up that uh, the case mouth, and just hit it. Now that came out real easy, because like I said, these didn't fire form to the uh, the chamber. But um, that's how I would resize and decap without cowboy dies. So, so again, full length resize I would have done there. So uh, it only cost, cost you six bucks for a ring. If you've got an arbor press, that won't cost you nothing. But you can do the whole process with the arbor press.